Hi, in our previous video, we created this user form in Excel that integrates with Google Sheets. If you haven't watched that video yet, the link is in the description below. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert this user form into an executable .x using VB6 and Inno setup. So if you're interested, keep watching until the end. First, we need to import the change icon module into our current Excel project. Next, copy the form to taskbar function into our user form. If you have multiple user forms, make sure to copy this function into each one and place it inside the user form underscore initialize event. Then, add this code to your form, making sure to update the icon file name accordingly. Ensure that you have a valid icon file. Once we run the form, you'll see that our VBA user form now has a custom icon, along with another icon appearing in the taskbar. Next, we need to remove these codes, as they are no longer needed. Then, add the reset taskbar function to the user form underscore terminate event. If you have multiple user forms, make sure to add this function to each one. In the workbook underscore open event, we need to add the Google Sheets form dot show so that the form automatically appears when the file is opened. Then, it's better to save the file in XLAM format since we won't be using the sheets or other workbook features. This helps keep the focus on the user form. Save this file in the same folder as your .x and icon files to keep everything organized and easily accessible. These files should not be separated because our path will always target the location of the workbook itself. Now, copy these codes and place them inside a brand new VB6 standard user form. It's best if the project name matches the XLAM file name for consistency. Then, save the .x file in the same folder as the other files to ensure everything stays in one location. When we run our .x file, it will open the .xlam file, making it appear as if we're running a standalone application. However, in reality, we are still running the Excel file itself. This process is necessary because we need an .x file to create an installation package, something that VBA alone cannot accomplish. As you can see on the screen, our Excel form works perfectly, making it feel like we're using a native .x file. After completing the preparations, we will now use InnoSetup compiler to build our installation package. Open InnoSetup and use the script wizard to generate the necessary code. Enter your desired application name and set the installation target to program data. Deselect the option that allows users to change the application folder. Browse for the .x file and add the required files, such as the icon file and .xlam file. Click open, then click next until you reach the compiler settings. Provide an output base file name, then click next and finish.
Before compiling the script, add a line of code to include an installer icon. Follow the code displayed on the screen. Run the script and save the output in the same location as the other files. Follow the wizard instructions, and the Excel file is now converted into a desktop application, which can be seen in the control panel. If we check the file location, the Excel file is still visible. To hide it, rename the XLAM file to .vba. This will not affect functionality. Update the VB6 code and Inno setup script to match the new file name. Run the installer again, and the Excel file will now be hidden from users, making it appear as a standalone application. This application is located in your output folder. That's it. You have now converted your VBA Excel file into a fully developed desktop application. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.